हेलो एवरीवन आई एम डॉक्टर निशा भटनागर मेडिकल डायरेक्टर एट अवेयर फर्टिलिटी एंड आई सेंटर टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट एग फ्रीजिंग एंड व्हाट इज द प्रोसेस फॉर एग फ्रीजिंग सो रिसेंटली वी हैव कम अक्रॉस अ लॉट ऑफ फीमेल्स कमिंग इन देयर लेट ट्वेंटीज विद लो ओवेरियन रिजर्व दे आर नॉट रेडी फॉर पेरेंटहुड दे डोंट वॉन्ट टू बिकम पेरेंट एज ऑफ नाउ दे आर बिजी विद देयर करियर और अदर थिंग्स बट एट द सेम पॉइंट ऑफ टाइम द प्रेशर द प्रेशर दे हैव बिकॉज ऑफ डिक्रीजिंग ओवेरियन रिजर्व दे इज ऑलवेज अ टसल गोइंग ऑन बिटवीन द करियर एंड द फर्टिलिटी they are always reminded by society or by family or by themselves sometimes of the ticking biological clock so what to do how to do so today i'm going to talk about this only egg freezing we all know that every female is born with a fixed number of eggs and as the female ages the number of eggs declines not only the number of eggs the quality of these eggs also declines so how to maintain the same fertility potential over years egg freezing is the way for that what do i mean by egg freezing egg freezing is a process where stimulation is done the eggs are taken out by a small procedure called ultrasound guided aspiration and then they are cryo preserved by vitrification in liquid nitrogen for future use so who's the ideal candidate for egg freezing for whom the egg freezing can be recommended Initially it was started for females suffering from some sort of cancer who are not ready to have a child right now and the eggs need to be preserved it was called fertility preservation so any cancer of uterus or ovaries where the female needs to take treatment and the the quality of and the eggs get affected by the radiation and chemotherapy egg freezing was the option any other medical condition like endometriosis which we know that affects the quality of egg as well as the number of eggs egg freezing is the option females who have not found their mr right or who are not ready for parenthood right now or they are busy with their careers or they have other things on their mind maybe simply as going out and seeing the world this is called social freezing or elective freezing where you are freezing your eggs by choice to avoid or delay the parenthood for a later time why it is needed because we know that the potential the fertility potential of these eggs is very good when you are young but as you age the fertility potential is going to get affected so what is the process the process is very very simple first of all you need to go through a series of tests to find out what is your present position what is your present situation there are certain tests like thyroid prolactin amh fsh lh estradiol and certain viral markers for infectious disease which needs to be done before starting the process once you have a consultation with your doctor all these tests are done the doctor recommends a protocol for you for going for egg freezing this protocol can be a minimal stimulation or a conventional stimulation or maybe even a natural cycle usually we don't do natural cycle for elective egg freezing because we need many eggs to freeze now after that as ultrasonography is scheduled there is a small tvs or transvaginal scan which is done and after that you are ready to go for the process The process usually starts from the second day of the cycle where you go for your scan the doctor does the scan advises you certain medication injections this lasts for a period of 8 to 10 days during which usually one or two visits are needed to adjust the dose once you have a follicle which is 18 mm most of the follicles are 18 mm a final injection or trigger is given 36 hours later after that the pickup is scheduled pick up is a very small uh, minor process where you are taken into the operation theater and all follicles are aspirated under ultrasound guidance once the eggs are aspirated the embryologist confirms by scanning the fluid that how many eggs are there the mature ones are separated and stored for future use there is no time limit for that as of now they can be kept storage for 10 year 15 year even 20 years the quality does not get compromised the process of vitrification if it is done in good hands ensures almost 99 to 100% recovery which means that if i have frozen 10 eggs 
there is a possibility that I may recover all 10 as it is. It does not affect the quality of embryos. It does not affect or does not cause any problems in the embryo. The freezing process is a very, very common uh, process done even abroad also and it is easy to perform. So for pregnancy purposes, the eggs which were frozen are thawed and after thawing, they are injected with a viable sperm. This may take place 10 year, 12 year, 15 year. Whenever you are ready for a pregnancy, you can use your own eggs. The chances of success from these frozen eggs basically depends upon when they were frozen. When they were frozen means at what age they were frozen. So if a female freezes her egg in the early uh, 30s or late 20s, there is a higher probability that that will result in a live baby. However, if these are frozen late, the successful pregnancy chances become a little less than, than the younger age group. If you have any more questions about it or you want to know more about the process or you want to know understand the your present situation, please feel free to contact us at given numbers. You can drop us a message and we will be happy to revert back. Thank you so much.